Hello everyone, my name is Uthers and welcome back to a second episode of Manor Lords. We have what seems to be a wife coming by, Margaret. Collecting some water from the well. His clothes are so vibrant and lovely. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Manor Lords. We're picking up right where we left off from last episode. We are harvesting logs. We are gathering berries. And producing water now. So we need to produce some more homes. Um, so that we can raise our population. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get a double burgage plot. That would be pretty amazing. If we could do that. House position extension slot. So this one has an extension slot available. Which isn't always a thing. So I don't really know what extension slots provide necessarily. Supplies disconnected from road network. Let's, uh, let's, let's continue to figure it out. Check out this house. This is the first house fully built. In the village. I just can't get over this person. First person view. Is there interior detail? Or is it pretty uh, empty? It's empty, but that's okay. I mean, you know. Not every day do you get this kind of detail anyways. In these RTS builders. So, um, you know. They got a little outhouse. Lovely actually have a uh, John in there I can't I can't tell I can't I can't get the camera quite right yes it does good it's got a lovely little seat all right so let's go ahead tell you what let's Wow, you can quickly lay down some homes. Not enough resources for that many. Uh, let's rotate this. We can get three homes that way or a big home. Not enough resources, six or two. But I feel like that's in the way, so that's that's preventing us. So maybe we can use the corner here. I like the potential for the expansion slot. Um, we'll be interested to see what that does. Can I also get another work area for the other berries or no? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's speed up time a little bit on this episode so we can get maybe out of uh, springtime, get some more stuff built for our folks. People inside, Andres, Margaret, Bartholomus. All right. Very good, maybe just times two. Get a road, please. 
place out there. Maybe this one's a little bit more like the manner of the of the place. While that's going, see how many logs do we have now? We have two. Great. So storage. We're gonna get a granary. Let's uh, let's throw it, throw it here. Maybe by the well. The well is kind of gonna be a central location, really. So let's throw it here, and then just curve a road around the well, something like that. I love this road tool. It's very quick to work with. Very, very quick. All right, so we're gonna get the granary, which is good. We have exposed food, which is bad. Very, very bad. It's raining, so we get to see some weather. This is a different house style, I think, too. The door's in a different spot and everything. What's my character look like in the rain? Pristine as always and beautiful. Sure, I'm getting my red socks and hose all muddy right now, but I don't care. I, I just want to stare at this game. I really do. Right, let's speed up time more. More time. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and throw that second worker there. So we have one unassigned family right now. We're kind of the one family left currently constructing. Man, the weather is picking up. That is that is ASMR quality rain. <laughs> it's a typhoon. Alright, people bring in water home. It might freeze in winter if we don't build them homes. That's the warning I'm kind of getting right now. Family joins one of the sellers. Okay. Total population, five pets and families. We have six males, two females. I kind of don't like this corner here. I something that um I don't know this is this is kind of a feedback I guess so when I place four right it it's kind of best for square layouts I kind of wish there was an option to hold shift to kind of add additional points as needed and then when you let go it finished from the last point to the first point. Because that way, I could have maybe just curved that fence nicely. Or something like that. This little sharp corner is a little weird. Um, it might look okay like once, once we maybe get some more spots filled in or something. Right, let's get the work size set for the forester's hut. So they replant all the trees that get cut down. Let's fast forward time. We're in May. Get the granary up. Yeah, 
and it will require a a worker. And I can upgrade it for three logs. Provides one extra hand cart. Uh, let's take off from lumber cutting so that we still have a worker family available for construction. And we need a storehouse for our goods. You know what? That would make sense to have near the ox. I think. Could have fit it here if I didn't do the kind of weird road thing. Let's uh, let's put it over here. Alright, very good. It's drying out. Rain's a little bit more gentle now. That ox. Man, it's a busy little ox, isn't it? Quest complete. Settlement intro. Supplies are dry and secure, and for the first stage, work is done. The stories your people tell around the fire are the many dangers in the world, from beasts to blight, strange tales about foxes who go on pilgrimage, or small creatures who spin gold from sunset to sunrise. To tell these stories, to put common names to their fears. Soon they'll teach these stories to their own children. It's time to bring wives and children into the settlement. Now that they can take shelter in proper homes, for your lands to prosper and grow. You need not only workers, but families. So we need to make uh, three more birge plots. Birge plots. Get to work, like. Is that a worker there? So these guys have carts, which based on the tooltips means that uh, they travel quicker on roads. And I think even the granary had a cart, unless only the upgraded version did. Not sure. Let's go to storage. Hopefully that gets kind of cleaned up soon. But let's go ahead and get some of those plots that they were thinking of. So we can go for big plots, small plots. Let's expand this road out a little bit. You know what? It's 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 a path, so it doesn't need to be perfectly straight and laid out exactly as it should be. I need to. I'll, I'll have to try and fight that urge. I feel to like overly, like centrally plan. Oh, good. You can right click and remove a node while working on this thing. And it looks like the light levels do change. So it kind of might become a little darker here soon. I don't know if there's eventually kind of going to be decorations or not. So we'll say that loop is kind of the village loop. Which means now we can do... Well, we need some more lumber. So let's... I have to wait for six lumber to be gathered here. All right, good. We're storing we're storing logs now. Oh look, a wagon's working, moving around. Tell you what, I I think I gave too much birth. A 
around the well. Like I want I want this to really look like it's it's going to be heavy traffic kind of moving through. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know if this road gets wider too, depending on the people and how much traffic goes across it. Either. Because this, this road was not this wide initially. Nice. Lovely. Influence 30. Okay, we have 30 influence. I'm an influencer now, everyone. Isn't that awesome? All right, one more log is what we need. So we'll speed up time. I kind of wish I knew how long each season lasts. I don't really um, see where that might be. We have eight months of food and eight months of fuel, we're going to need that firewood hut soon. But let's, let's get these houses first. Three smaller homes over that way. Very good. Get that built quickly. And we'll look at harvesting for the woodcutter's lodge now. One log to do that? Okay. Yeah, I think this episode we're going to do a lot more kind of speed up mentality. Trying real hard not to uh, skip a lot because I, I I want to see the people work. Nice, I really like that upper loft area. That looks lovely. Now are all these going to be this really the same house or are they going to be all slightly different? I think they're all going to be slightly different. Construct extension vegetable garden. Yes. So they're gonna have their own little plot. That's kind of interesting. That cost me a tool though, which now I have none. And I feel like I rushed that. Um, Actually no, I think it's okay. I think I think it's okay. We're okay. We're okay there. Ooh, I like that little storage bit there. I like the little arch by the fence. I like how this is waddle, kind of stick. Woven fences instead of the single big plots. They, they kind of get a proper wooden fence. 
lovely. Yeah, even the color is different. The little details are different. Some of it's daub, some of it's just wood plank. They're different sizes too, just like a little bit oblong. I need one log. We have six months of food in firewood right now. Our fuel is going down quicker than our food is. We're a Reichenfurt. New development point. Okay. Points one. So I don't know if the tech tree is unlocked right now. Development, policy, production. Rename region. Um. Uthlandia. Uthlandia. There we go. Uthlandia. We have one available point, but there's nothing to really spend it on. Locked in the demo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here. It's all, it's all locked in the demo. That's fine. New message. As you walk the parameters of your village with pride, a woman walks past you. She's bent nearly double under a sack. That's how long she's been walking. She tells you it takes her half a day now to get all the food she needs in her family from the hunters and farmers that surround the village. Holy the way is a marketplace where your people could acquire food, clothing, and firewood. You'll be happier to have more time for work. Food stall, firewood stall, clothing stall. I don't want that bin, but I, I have so many homeless people still that I still have homeless tents. That market here, and then some some industrial buildings there. Maybe some more residential that way. Let's get that firewood place up and running. Come on, people, get to work. And we are going to need a path out here. For a hunting camp. hunting camp that way this this game can actually be pretty quick like if I if I uh, did a little bit more speed up time you'd be progressing very very fast on this stuff another huge rainstorm coming in now. Which is good. And a hunting camp. Let's go ahead and get the work area assigned to. Okay. 
Can I see the animals in here? I can. It's like we've got deer. A lot of deer. The audio is a little loud, I feel. Hold on. Just uh, turn that down a little bit. There's so many deer. Well, that'll be good for food, hopefully. So we have 100 berries and 7 bread. What other upgrade plots were there? We can destroy an upgrade plot. Upgrade to level 2. Provides better funding equipment if levied. I'm gonna upgrade this plot first, I think. Oh, nice! We lost that. So, so we can build our market now in the corner for our village. gonna get rid of one family from gathering berries throw them into hunters Let's see what it looks like from ground view again beautiful homes life market area so let's do That's a huge market, actually. Let's demolish that real quick. Let's just... Something more like that. All right, food stall, clothing, firewood stall. Yeah, this is this is huge. Can I put this outside now? Okay. Well, we'll see what it kind of ends up looking like. Firewood, food. Does this go in here now? Kind of see how that goes. Firewood stall and food stall. Under construction now. We no more resources to gather in work area. All right, so let's pop that off. We have five months of supplies. So actually, to get one family to be a builder fam, still, so we can make these stalls. Look at these carrots, they're growing. 
Get some rots going. And these take people to work in them. No surprise there. Just throw that second fam over there. Quick road crossed there. Just so they can quickly get to the granary and you know they don't have to go through the market stall area every single time. Uh, we need more we need a clothing spot, I guess. Even though we don't have a tailor yet. And I need to save up for probably another six or so pieces of firewood, or log. Storage limit reached. I wonder why this doesn't have, uh, unless I have to upgrade them. Do I upgrade these? Doesn't look like it. I wonder why these don't have little uh, covers for the roof here. Honestly, not sure. But maybe they only get them when someone is working there. Tavern. You know, a tavern by the market. It'd make a lot of sense. Yeah, we're making a tavern. like that for some more homes could be nice we just need four logs for that so let's speed up time I love watching them build this. This is very fascinating. That's a lovely looking building. unlocked. I like the resources. The resources are pretty basic. Um, I mean, personally, you know, maybe a little bit more complexity, you know, like taking the logs to a lumber mill for like lumber resources, but that just maybe may or may not be a thing eventually. There's commodities. But I think yeah, they actually had a blog post about you know, having too many different types of uh, stuff, right? So, I think he was just worried about, about that long term.
I like how the, the houses are kind of angled too. They're a little bit dynamically placed. These ones obviously are perfectly straight, but this one's a little off kilter. This one's a little off kilter, which is kind of nice. need family for the woodcutting hut. Current settlement size, small village. Uh, you know, we kind of put the tavern in the town center. So I think back here, it would be cool to have the church then. Since the tavern is so central right now. Pantry food, food stall. That's fine. That's good. Look at this village. built up pretty pretty well it's, we're we're in september we're almost caught up to real life i just can't stop playing there's both little plots this one it has an upgrade which you know we could do a goat shed chicken coop vegetable garden in the back there very nice very lovely look at this vegetable garden there are the carrots. I think these might be beets. Maybe some onions. Not sure exactly what these are. I thought they were all going to be carrots, but apparently not. But I'm glad they're growing their own food. Maybe it gets thrown into the granary too. That'd be cool. Trying to figure out what I need to do. Um, we need two Burgage plots to level two. So that means we need some logs, which we are getting. So we're fine there. I don't have another family to start working on getting firewood, but hopefully we are going to stockpile some firewood soon. Because right now we're, we're at three months of fuel. gonna upgrade this plot first actually I can't minimum requirement village or small village so we need a church and three more level one plots oh, okay okay well we can do the church that's okay Eight logs. This is much bigger than I thought it was. So honestly, out here might be the spot that it makes the most sense. Or maybe even back in here. I think I think over here is still probably the best looks wise I like the the where it's sitting on its plot in relationship to the direction that's kind of facing you know the way it kind of ends the town then hunting again so that's actually kind of interesting so that means back here I mean you could have done like industrial stuff but I guess not I'll rotate that 
12. 12 houses, wow. It's kind of curious. Upgradable homes, too. Those ones there. That's kind of crazy. We are running out of fuel. to do is just throw someone off the lumber camp and throw it into the woodcutter's lodge for now just to uh, get through the winter because it is October and uh, just like real life October gonna be a chilly one so with that guys uh, I think this is episode two of Manor Lords complete um, again if you guys are enjoying this game definitely check it out on Steam it should be kind of free for the next few days um, support the developers and stuff this is a really really interesting town builder so far um, I'm very impressed with it it's it's got a lot going for it I just want to see more and uh, want to keep playing more of this game a uh, lot of potential for town layouts and just making something look very very pretty so if you guys are enjoying it feel free to subscribe for more creative goodness such as this hit that like button and I hope to get to see you guys real, real soon <laughs>